Hey guys, I hope all is well with everyone. Um, welcome back. If you're returning, if you're new, welcome. My name is Ray, and we're going to look into a few things here with Taylor Russell. I'm just kind of noticing something here. So depending on how her reading is, if you see my last reading that I'm uploading right now about Zendaya, um, <clears throat> there's a feminine energy water sign that I kept showing up. So I hope you don't mind, but I did include two questions at the end here last minute that involves Zendaya as well. So I apologize, she's currently not in the thumbnail. I will try to go back and fix that if I don't already. So <clears throat> we're going to start off with just looking into Taylor Russell's current energy. Move the decks around here so there's more room. Really quick. There's so many cards. <laughs> I love all of them. <laughs> if you find yourself enjoying, please do me one favor. Hit that like button. Share, comment, or subscribe. Or all. <laughs> if you haven't already. Current energy for Taylor Russell, please. Okay, so she's focusing on her path and having happiness on it. Whether she has it right now or focusing on bringing more happiness towards her. Let's see what else we get here. Taylor Russell's current energy, please. Okay, you're pretty eager, I would say, to begin with. What happened to that? So it looks like there's some form of new chapter in her life. On her journey. She just begun. It might seem very valuable to her, so this could possibly be speaking about her career. Taylor Russell's current energy, please. She's holding on tight to what she's got going on with her Wheel of Fortune because it is bringing her happiness. And she wants to continue drawing that in towards her. Interesting. It seems like it's moving her towards some... towards a partnership, <clears throat> some sort of unionship with... A masculine energy earth sign. Maybe some sort of reconciliation. Providing some sort of healing information. Taylor Russell's current energy, please. We're totally going to ask about Zendaya. Totally. Right now at this moment, I can't tell if there is some sort of petty game going on here between Taylor Russell and Zendaya with... Timothy Chalamet. Zendaya is certainly reviving a chain connection here. <clears throat> There's a wish of... <laughs> I'm really putting a lot of energy into some form of unknown secret information here. 
there was a seven of swords. I'm telling you guys, go back and look. Once I get the notification that the checks are done with this video, I plan on putting on that little tippy tab on the top of the video. Be right here. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. But it's like something to do with their past. It's what's really creating this really weird situation. But in Zendaya, there was a seven of swords that kept popping up. Even for her immediate and distant future. And dealing with this that comes in. It seems as though she tries to use this water sign and fire sign to, well, occasionally fire sign, occasionally water sign, to help her get some sort of information about this earth sign that was in their masculine energy that seemed to have been Timothy Chalamet. You guys, go check it out. See, there was one that came up. Another one. Flipped. Taylor Russell's current energy, please. What could you tell us about Timothy? Interesting. I wonder if she's focused on him and his energy. I wonder if there's like mixed feelings on something going on here between all of them. Taylor Russell's current energy. There's some type of secret information. And she's thinking about it. It's almost like she is it's like she's contemplating if she wants to use it for like if she wants to approach an air sign about it. Could you give us more depth on what's laid out here? <clears throat> really con contemplating on a balance. See this damn seven of swords. The wheel, wheel of fortune towards happiness. Man. It's like Timothy Chalamet's I'm, I, I swear I know there's there are plenty of other fish in the sea and there are plenty of other earth signs and the masculine energy that I'm sure are near um, Taylor Russell. However, Zendaya's reading is extremely similar to what's going on here. It's like there's information being passed around about Timothy Chalamet and Tom Holland. And it's almost like Timothy Chalamet's energy is being pulled around between, between all these women. His current partner, um, Taylor Russell, and Zendaya. Taylor Russell's current energy. Could you give us more depth on what's laid out here, please?
really thinking about how to be like tricky and sneaky because she's currently not happy. She's trying to choose a new creation to fill her cup of happy, of joy and just bring herself happiness. But she's dealing with a battle, something from the past that's become a burden. Okay, it looks like somebody's going to reconcile with her. Yeah, <laughs> this is totally clarification. She's going to be used as a spy to bring information. <laughs> My goodness. But it's kind of confusing because she has some mixed... It's like mixed feelings because she wants to be a f helpful and be a friend and proceed through. Maybe she's providing secret information to somebody and not even knowing about it. However, I want to say she knows. Hmm. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles, please. Taking an action towards happiness, but it's a burden. Here's that damn Queen of Pentacles. Okay. She's providing a helping hand. It's just, she's a monkey in the middle. She's providing a victory, a win on a new creation to a third party. Okay. So she's a monkey in the middle of a messenger. At least one of the messengers. Messenger one. Um... My goodness, I really wasn't expecting such layouts. Um, okay, so now let's grab the past, the before thought for this question here. Has Taylor Russell ever been romantically involved with Timothy Chalamet? Has Taylor Russell ever been romantically involved with Timothy Chalamet? Well, to begin with, 
in the past definitely brought happiness. Nothing romantic so far. Has Taylor Russell ever been romantically involved with Timothy Chalamet in the past? Uh, no. no. Definitely not what I'm seeing. Nothing romantic. Was Taylor Russell ever romantically involved with Timothy Chalamet in the past? Um, no. Um, but seems as though it might have been a public eye, like a world's wonder and thought. But no, I see strictly business involved here. Anything that's romantically involved has to do with other people. Could have been a daydream that she's had before. Like a thought. She might have wanted to try to, but then this air sign came. Came in out of nowhere. Just snatched him up, is what I'm hearing. So, okay, so it seems as though the whole romantically thing involved in the past, it looks as though it's something that she might have thought about attempting, but. Um, not necessarily able to because of this air sign involved. And you know what? That would make sense with the, um, conflicting and confusing energies that she's feeling with her current energy and involving this Queen of Pentacles. Which I personally believe that it could be Zendaya, but it could possibly not. I'm just saying it is be possibly could be because judging off of how the reading just was for Zendaya. Alrighty, so now we're going to move into looking into Taylor's true feelings towards Timothy. Now, the question is, what deck to use? <laughs> 
right. I feel like this one's been wanting to be used. I love this deck. I love the artwork. It's beautiful. See, that's my problem. I love artwork. <laughs> he tells Taylor Russell's true feelings towards Timothy Chalamet, please. Taylor Russell's true feelings towards Timothy Chalamet. We have a few cards. One moment here. So Involving with her Wheel of Fortune here, she is finding success. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> She's moving towards, wow, very good success, strong, very abundant. Something nostalgic, maybe having to do with a past path with him. But she's moving towards some form of victory and success. She might even just see herself just in general being able to celebrate victories with him. And it's something that she really enjoys. Taylor Russell's true feelings towards Timothy Chalamet. Taylor Russell's true feelings towards Timothy Chalamet. She's learning about this block of cheer. It's, it's <laughs> this. Why is this showing up for her true feelings? For Timothy Chalamet. But let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles because it could show up two ways. Can you clarify this Queen of Pentacles here, please, for Taylor Russell's true feelings towards Timothy Chalamet? I could see some form of like a little bit of romantic feelings, but I'm really seeing this Queen of Pentacles as her helping this Queen of Pentacles to get closer to Timothy Chalamet. Taylor Russell's true feelings towards Timothy Chalamet. And if that's the case, then she sees him as somebody who is a friend. Yes. 
She sees him as a friend. And she wants to help <laughs> this Queen of Pentacles get closer to Timothy Chalamet. But then the question would be, why would she have kind of mixed feelings then? Maybe she over working on trying to overcome those feelings. Maybe she wants to overcome those feelings. Interesting. Tell us more, please. Taylor Russell's true feelings for Timothy Chalamet. She's holding on tight to a burden that's happened in the past. She feels apathetic as she looks further into it. It's almost like it wants to tell us the current true feelings, or at least her current feelings. Taylor Russell's true feelings towards Timothy Chalamet. She wants to help find balance. I wonder if she knows that Timothy is feeling a certain way about whatever goes on between him and this Queen of Pentacles, which I'm going to assume, me myself, that this Queen of Pentacles that's showing up is Zendaya. But I could absolutely be wrong about that. Could you give us more depth on what's laid out here, please? you give us more depth on what's my laid out here? I'm going to pause, pick these up. It looks like she's going to have a little bit of realization about her true feelings about Timothy Chalamet during this process of helping this Queen of Pentacles get closer. It says that she's going to learn something valuable out of this. That's going to transition her, her feelings about being confused and stressed about defeating something I see. 
I see. Okay, so she's, it's like she's going, during this process, she's going to be learning valuable information to apply between her and this. I'm hearing Harry Styles, just as I want to, I want to say, this air sign. And a new start here with this masculine energy air sign. So in a way, this victory here, it's bringing her victory towards this air sign. So it'd be interesting to see what we get with this question. Taylor Russell's true feelings towards Harry Styles. Taylor Russell's true feelings towards Harry Styles, please. So, wow. Before I mention this card here that just came out, this deck does have two bonus cards, one of which is currently showing up, which is the sad squirrel. She's not happy with... The union partnership for some reason in between them but yet there's like this want to lay things to rest and find healing taylor russell's true feelings towards harry styles please Something's reviving this energy of her feeling stabbed in the back for some reason. It says so she's been left out in the cold. Feels like she's getting the cold shoulder from him with the path and that <clears throat> with their connection. Almost like he's getting like more distant from her here. Wow, we have a lot of quick movement here. My God, so there's some sort of disappointment here with this King of Pentacles. My God, what's going on with these these guys here? So the two of swords came out and went flying in reverse. She's quickly moving towards removing the blindfold on a crossroad that had light in front of her. Like she's reflecting on the situation because of getting a cold shoulder. It's as though she had some sort of good connection here and feeling bound. Towards the situation, something to do with a fire sign here.
What's with this King of Wands here? Why do we have this King of Wands? This person has created fears. A very destructive, maybe even toxic moment. Making her feel stuck in her mind is what I'm seeing. Okay, receiving a helping hand. Ah, all right. This person was supposed to help her transition things in her path. It looked like they made things sound too good to be true, and they were too good to be true. Okay, so this fire sign has some sort of connection here with Harry Styles. It's almost like they've created a big burden with her connection with him. She's trying to move towards happiness with this. She's working through a burden new creation. She's trying to turn her feelings around. She seems as though she has a grudge, but she's trying to defeat it. It's almost like there's been a lot of strong movements, a lot of things that were very powerful in the past. This manifested disappointment in what had seemed beautiful and abundant. She's seeing things from another perspective. Something, something happened and it turned things sour. But now she's going to be coming up to the point where she's going to want to reconcile the situation. Try to figure it out. Try to change a sad situation into a happy situation. Actually, let's get the before thought deck here. What could you tell us about this two of swords in reverse here? What could you tell us about this Two of Swords in reverse? For Taylor Russell's true feelings towards Harry Styles. Why did this two of swords come out in reverse for Taylor Russell's true feelings towards Harry Styles? A situation that was created that it's like didn't want it to turn out the way 
but it did turn out. So now it's a whole new project. I'm trying to defeat this problem, this conflict. Um, and it's challenging to break through it, but I do some see some fierceness. I see her recognizing the situation and reviving things, trying to change things, but it's going to take it's gonna take extra steps. So currently it's a conflicting feeling that she has. She feels sad. I'm not getting the five of cups, so I'm not sensing depressed. I'd say more of a confusing situation really. Trying to fix it. It's almost like things became more dramatic than what was necessarily needed. Mm -hmm. She's taking all the steps that she needs to to go towards a balance. And it will move her towards this King of Pentacles here. And then involve with a moment in their life that's going to be a form of destruction. But they're going to also provide some sort of information that's going to help her balance out the actions to move forward to something better in her energy towards Harry Styles. So she can mend things where she feels sad and disappointed. Or she might possibly even feel like her back is stabbed and maybe even sabotaged. Feels like she self-sabotaged the situation somehow. Especially with the Two of Swords coming out. She's not handling being in the cold, getting the cold shoulder very well. Okay, so now we're going to grab the afterthought deck here and look into her immediate, the immediate future between Taylor and Harry Styles' relationship. Could you tell us the immediate future for Taylor Russell and Harry Styles' relationship, please? This King of Pentacles. The immediate future for Taylor Russell and Harry Styles relationship, please. Whatever involvement that she winds up having with this King of Pentacles is going to wind up providing like an aha moment for her, like a light bulb moment for a way for her to get to a wish fulfillment type of energy with Harry Styles. Taylor Russell's immediate future, or the immediate future for Taylor Russell and Harry Styles' relationship, please. Placing energy into a confusing situation that might even be stressful. Yeah. Whatever she learns from this person on the path, this journey that she's going to wind up 
embarking on with this King of Pentacles. It says, oh, they're going to provide her somehow, some way, some sort of secret information that's going to help her evolve the relationship between her and Harry Styles. It's going to make her go from, I was just going to say, the sad squirrel, and here we have the Five of Pentacles, from that sad squirrel to the happy squirrel energy here. Yep. It's a third party help. She's going to be, this is while she's helping this Queen of Pentacles here, which I swear to you, and Sam, the way things have been coming out, that that's going to be Zendaya. We'll find out in the next two questions here. But as you see, she's being a helpful hand to this third party, taking action towards victory. So it's going to be like a positive domino effect. She's going to be able to defeat her nightmares and get to this abundance, abundance, this beautiful situation that she wants to embark on. Okay, we're going to continue using the same deck for now. And we're going to ask about Taylor Russell and Zendaya. The current energy between Taylor Russell and Zendaya. The current energy between Taylor Russell and Zendaya. There's a battle, right? But in this deck here, in the afterthought, this person that's embarking and facing forward this, this battle, this conflict. They're discussing with this four, these four others. It looks like they're taking a break and discussing how they're going to approach. It's definitely a new opportunity, and it's secretive. Might involve secret information. The current energy between Taylor Russell and Zendaya, please. Smirking because I've seen the Nine of Swords pop up, yeah. So, definitely figuring out a tactic on how to defeat nightmares together. What chain connections bring heartache and pain when they think about it. And it's going to charge them towards a new opportunity for each other. It's like that vibe of killing two birds with one stone. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The current energy between Taylor Russell and Zendaya, please. Totally repeating itself. Okay. Charging towards the secret information. Secret new opportunity. Finding balance. Working on solitude here.
Could you tell us about this Five of Wands here? What could you tell us about this Five of Wands here? For the current energy between Taylor Russell and Zendaya. Something that's making them, wow, you guys, making them run towards a balance. Being able to make grounded decisions, which will help them move forward into where they want to find happiness. Whatever category that may be for each one, which I'm sensing it's a love situation here. And here, it's about receiving information about this King of Pentacles. That's a lover. <laughs> Path. So, yeah. <laughs> They're helping each other out. Mystery solved. <laughs> I would like to know who this fire sign is that keeps showing up, though. I mean, it could be one of their placements, that's for sure. But it does show up in Zendaya's readings, too. And it's dealing with a project having to do with information about a new creation, a third party as unknown, placing energy into being able to see things from another perspective. Being able to find justice and refill that cup up, back up with joy and happiness. So they're really helping each other out by trying to achieve more information, being able to help themselves with what seems to be these two gentlemen, Harry Styles, and Timothy Chalamet. Now, side note, fun fact, I before doing this, I and before it was requested, I did write down about um, Harry Styles. So that's um, my next task. I do already have that thumbnail already done. Sorry, let me move this stuff so I can put my legs out so my knee feel so old so my knee doesn't lock up <laughs> I've fallen and I can't get up <laughs> inside joke with my husband oh we just joke with each other because he's 12 years older than I <laughs> so anyways now we're going to look into the future between the both of them Get this out of the way. Thank you. Could you tell us the future between Taylor Russell and Zendaya, please? The future between Taylor Russell and Zendaya. This Knight of Pentacles could be showing up as very good advice as well that's going to help them move towards their happiness. It could be the valuable information that they're moving towards. But whatever it is, it's going to help them break free. Definitely help her break free out of whatever energy that's continuously going that she's trying to break free from to try to move closer to what seems to be is Harry Styles and it's been a project. Something that she's been trying to either A, recover or B, get over and move forward in some shape or form. Whether that's towards Harry Styles 
or taking a different route and going the opposite way. The future between Taylor Russell and Zendaya, please. I swear, it's not, okay, <laughs> um, there, there you were, no, new one flipped over, mm -hmm. breaking for you being able to rehearse fill her cup up with happiness, wow, so many aces, she's going to learn something valuable to be able to break free from what's been blocking her, it, She's working with Sunday, and Sunday is working with her to be able to break through things that's been blocking her from being, being able to have happiness, some sort of joy between Zendaya and Timothy and um, Taylor and Harry. Um, so maybe we'll do a try to do some sort of like double date. I could kind of see that happening in the future, future, if that's possible for them. So, are, so you are aware, I just realized that I have missed the timestamp for this one. I apologize for that. Um... I will put down, I can't do that, well it was pretty quick, shoot, anyways, I might not put anything down there, I might put dash dash and that's why, um, so anyways, it'll be really interesting to see what comes out in the future of this, um, please don't forget to uh, hit that like button, share, comment, and subscribe if you found yourself enjoying. Also, um, don't forget to check out that membership. I am also thinking about maybe checking to see if you guys um, are interested in uh, horoscope readings because that water sign one, I accidentally did it as public instead of membership. And it got faster views than I expected. So maybe I will try to do that and do bonus readings on the membership bonus readings as in going a little further into it. Um, maybe even doing like an outcome of it for the bonus reading. reading. Um, trying to think here now. I think that's everything I really want to say right now. Um... Thank you, everybody who's viewing. Thank you for all your likes, shares, comments, subscribes, all the support, um, any form and type of support with the channel from you guys. I thoroughly appreciate. Thank you so much. I do enjoy watching um, you guys discuss the videos in the comment section. I love it. Um, anyways, I'll let you guys go. Until next time, you guys. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye-bye.